Oh my god, this looks so good. Yummy. Oh my goodness, we're so fancy. What's up? Oh, we're back. <laughs> Hi. No, we're confident. Okay, yes. We're confident. What's up? It's Kat and Deb from Two Market Girls, your favorite cookbook reviewers, back with most of the time. Yeah. I'm sure sometimes we're not your favorite. And that's okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, but we are back with a very important part two review. Or take two. Take two, <laughs> part two, redemption. Redemption. We are going to make two recipes from Provech, Provech, Provecho? 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 Cookbook, I'm which last time we struggled a little bit, it'll be linked in the corner. We struggled a little bit with some of the recipes. Maybe we did too much. Maybe we are just too much. <laughs> um, That's it. But this time we are gonna go slow. We're only doing two recipes that have Three side recipes, so <laughs> yeah. it's fine. Yeah, only five recipes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it sounds worse than it is, but I swear we tried to keep yeah. it minimal. I think I think that's what went wrong last time, is there was so much outside of just the recipe, you had to like flip to other pages. I'll, so we're sticking to two main recipes. Yeah, we were flipping out. And Devin did some prep yesterday. I soaked the cashews. So that's we are prep. ahead. Or we are on schedule, not even ahead. Uh, okay. So what are we making? Oh God, <laughs> I don't remember their names. We're making jackfruit tacos. Yes. I don't remember their exact name or if it's, oh, shredded jackfruit tacos. There we go. Chilakis, chilakis rojo, a word. A picture. Yeah, it looks like, you know, nachos in a way. Yeah. So I'm very excited about this And one. we're putting black beans on these. Yes. There was the option to do like a, a refried bean or a black bean and we went the black bean round. Yes. So between the two recipes, we have to make the black bean topping. Yes. And we have to make a pico de gallo. Yeah, and then we have to make a cilantro crema. Crema. Which so, is what the soaked cashews are for. Yeah. So we are going to get those ready first. Yeah. And then we will move on to like the main The recipe. main events. The main events. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to each do one? I know I, there's three, but do you want to each do one? I think we can handle that, right? Okay. I'll, you want to do the crema? Sure. Or do you want me to do the crema? Well, I feel like the because crema- Because a lot of chopping. Yeah, and the crema is probably the easiest. Or, probably, you just yeah. blend it all together, right? Yeah, you literally just throw it in a blender. I'll do the so pico one, if you, you want. You do the pico, I'll do the beans, and then it's a race to see who does the crema. Yeah, okay, perfect. <laughs> it's a race. <laughs> We're starting off very calm. Very, <laughs> very calm. Uh, oh, there okay. we go, pico. For frying. Oh, you have to fry some of the veggies first. Oh, I didn't know that. You didn't read it at all? Catherine. I saw the pictures. I read the name. I'm going to read. Okay, Catherine's going to take some time to read. I'll get stuff out. It's going great. I mean, I think it's going pretty good. Nothing screwed up yet. Don't even say that. Nothing. Everything's going well. Yes. We're only going to say positive things. I'm positive this is going to go well. These are just getting like a little char. Yeah, we're charring them all over. All over. For six minutes. That's pretty good. I think it's pretty charred. Yeah, either way it'll add flavor. Yes. All right, step one done. Good job. Nice. And look, I diced this onion and I didn't even cry. <laughs> That's right. Still prepping. <laughs> Still chopping tomatoes. But I did all my dicing. Yeah. What are you making again? Beans. Something. Oil. I forget how much. Um, one tea, half a tablespoon. You're cutting it in half, right? That seems right. You are cutting it in half, right? I'm, I think I am. Okay. Persian cucumbers. I am into I think it. some of your cucumbers are going bad. I just bought them. This one looks gross on the end. How dare you? Whoa. <laughs> ah! Ah! I hate that. <laughs> Wait, I think we're supposed to put the jalapenos in at the same time. Okay. Yes, I am. Oh, Devin, Devin, oh, you gotta just calm. Oh. Breathe. You just breathe. Whoa, nice cutting. Thank you. Pro technique. There's the pico. They're getting more like creamy. They're still a little, I think, looser than. These are the loose beans. <laughs> photo. I mean, you could put them on the heat still a still bit. Stay on the heat? Yeah, it would thicken them up. And then you're working on the crema. Crema. 
Sweet. <laughs> We're on to the nachos. On to the next. Yeah, we've done all of our prep. Creme is in the fridge. I'm feeling so much more confident this time. Are you Are feeling you? good? I'm feeling great. Feeling strong. That looks great. <laughs> Thanks. There we go. Fresh. Have you Eight. ever had like? Have you ever made fresh no, I've tortilla never done chips? This before. Can't you tell? Like, I'm wondering if this is why the restaurants are so good. I hope this is like restaurant ones. I'll be so happy, but yeah. I don't know. <laughs> You're skeptical. I it am sounds skeptical. Like. Why? I don't know. It couldn't be that easy. I mean, it is. I mean, the ones you buy in the grocery or in the grocery store are usually fried, so like deep fried. But that's what they are. They're just corn tortillas. True. That's what nachos are. No, I know that part. But the ones in the <laughs> restaurant because they're fried, I think. Yeah. All right, That's spray again. Up. So fun. We didn't cool. even turn the oven on. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think 350? 350. All right, well, we're ready. If that's the only mistake we make today, I'm okay with that. Great. Two clothes and garlic. Okay. We're putting this, yes. Yes. <laughs> we're gonna have one can of jackfruit. This is not the jackfruit recipe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love myself. Right, this is just all the nacho toppings, basically. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we need, I don't even know where tomatoes are supposed to go. I'm so confused. Maybe we should read the instructions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> add the baked tortillas and, add the baked tortillas and fold gently into the sauce. Say what now? I'm so confused. Aren't they gonna lose their crispiness? Add three quarters cup of vegan cheese and simmer until the cheese is mostly melted about five minutes. You make it in a pot. Oh. Wild! Huh! Okay, cool! Way different than I thought. Same. Good thing we read it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So okay. we just add it all to this We bowl. are gonna chop, chop, chop! <laughs> to the top! So Don't much chop. ever stop! Chop, 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 <laughs> chop! <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Drop that. What a millennial child. How's it going? It's going really well, actually. I'm just throwing food on the floor, so... That seems like it's going great. Yes. None of the onions have made me cry, so. That's great. I'm in control of my emotions today. Got some stuff cooking here. Got some stuff. That's great. It just says chopped. It doesn't say what size, so. Do you have a preference? No. This is on, by the way. That's just so you knew. Okay, I'll try to do something interesting. Yeah, this has been boring. So freaking boring. Oh like, my gosh, no drama. No drama at all. Ugh. Oh. This is not what they want to see. Oh. Should we fight? No. <laughs> That's not the kind of drama. They want us to burn something. Put the knife down. <laughs> you were the one who said, should we fight? And yeah, but I didn't grab a knife right away. Well, I don't want to get caught off guard. <laughs> I respect that. Spoon of cumin. All right. Now the teaspoon thing is dirty, so I'm just gonna. Just I trust your judgment. Yeah. We both like the taste of cumin. Yeah. That's probably about a teaspoon. With your hard chips. Oh yeah. Oh, you should probably check them. I'm checking them out right now. <laughs> okay, let's check them like companies. Yeah. Oh, they're getting pretty brown. Okay, do you want to take them out? Yeah. There's our chips and the sauce is delicious. Do you call it, is it a sauce? I'm I think so. Yeah, I think he calls it a sauce in the recipe. So you fold it. This is how you fold stuff. <laughs> it's really just pushing it around. But people so you go can't from say, underneath and over. You push. fold. You go oh. under and fold it Flip over. Flip it over. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to fold nacho chips. <laughs> Actually, it's the most okay. obvious demonstration of a folding technique. <laughs> Oh yeah. How much cheese do you want? As much as you want. Huh. Do we put a lid on this? Do we stir it? I don't think we stir it. Look, the cheese will melt a little quicker. There we go. Now we wait. Nice! Oh, I gotta chop up the avocado. There's no picture of the fin finished product, no. so it's whatever we desire. Yeah. Fresh colors. Actually, it's gonna be very colorful. Yeah, it's gonna be so pretty. Avocado. Oh, it's so pretty. I do think our ratio of sauce to nachos is off. Yeah. But I think that's okay. And cilantro. Oh my God, this looks so good. Yummy. It's hot. 
I mean, yeah, it's cooked. On my hand. I didn't get any toppings. Oh, I'm so excited. I didn't for get this. any beans. <laughs> I worked so hard on these beans. <laughs> really good. Okay. Really yummy. Oh, that's it's so good. So good. Oh my goodness. I want to put that sauce on nachos from now on. Yeah, that's a great sauce. Wow. Mmm. A plus. 10 out of 10. This is really good. Yeah. I really like this. I love this. We did it. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we're going to enjoy this. We'll maybe clean up a little bit. And I, then... I would 100% make this again. I probably wouldn't do the beans. I would just top yeah. it with... Whatever. Beans. Yeah, yeah, like regular beans. It's so good. Okay, sweet. We will, um, we're gonna eat lunch now. Meet again when we're making tacos. Mm-hmm. Have fun. Got our dried chilies. Doing our taco prep. And cumin seeds. How many cumin seeds? Half a teaspoon. Cooking this up. Yeah, we're so, like, Hong Kong Celeste, you know? We're so cool, but it's pretty hot in here. This is quality technique. So it's just like chicken, but not so much so that people will be offended and want to leave. Okay. And blend her up until it's smooth. Another magic sauce coming right up. Sauce time. It looks like buffalo sauce. It really does. I'm not mad about it. Where's my taco so far? You look great. <laughs> so pretty. It's going to make a nice photo. Tacos are actually so pretty all yeah, the time. They're super aesthetic. <laughs> super aesthetic. My aesthetic is tacos. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. I'm not even done. I didn't even put the avocado all right. on. Right? Wow, look, it's so good. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to eat these. Taco time? The moment we've all been waiting for. Oh, it's so good. That's a good taco. Oh my god. It's so fresh. And like surprisingly light. So many flavors. Mm-hmm. Mmm! Oh, that looks like chicken when you mm. bite into it. Show them. <laughs> Show them! <laughs> I'm gonna focus, yeah. Oh, look at that taco. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, that was so much better than last time. That could not be more different. Yeah. I don't know. I think maybe it's because we like, we made sure we weren't filming anything else today so that we weren't in a rush. Mm -hmm. We took our time. We each focused on one recipe at a time. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It just, like, and maybe we picked things a little bit more in our wheelhouse. Maybe. Yeah. But still didn't go, like, for overly simple no, stuff. Like, yeah. there was still a lot of ingredients, still yes. a lot of components, but we didn't try to do too much at once. Yes. Honestly, this was so good. So great. I loved everything so much. Everything is so flavorful. And I mean, for the we loved all the food last time yeah. too. It was just It was just a stressful chaos. time. Yeah. This time, it was calm, cool, collected, yeah. food on the floor, not the book's fault. Yeah. I think if you really like Mexican food, get this book. It's highly, highly recommend. The flavors are amazing. Mm -hmm. Or if like, you don't, you're not sure how to go about veganizing Mexican food, I think this is a great book to get. I mean... He grew up with all these recipes and he's veganizing yeah. it from his memory. So I think it's a great, it's a great book to get regardless. It's just no going into it that it's more prep work at the beginning, but you can use a lot of the things for other stuff. Yeah. I think as a beginner cook, you could be overwhelmed by it, mm -hmm. but you know, it just means that you take one recipe at a time. Yeah. It just means there's some prep at the beginning, but then you've got like pico de gallo for the week. Yeah. <laughs> Meal and we, prep. And we have that recipe wherever it was. Behind Here. This is half of the recipe. This is a big bowl. But like now you have this for like fish tacos or just to dip nachos in. We're just going to sit here eating chips and This pico. pico is really good. I've never thought to put cucumber in pico. Yeah. It's really yummy. Okay, in the comments, tell us if we redeemed ourselves <laughs> yeah. and what, if you're excited if you try either of these recipes. Yeah. And, I mean, we have such a long list of cookbooks. Mm -hmm. But tell Let us, us no. tell us, yeah, cookbooks or um, just bloggers too, because yeah. not everybody can always get the cookbooks. Or 
If there's like a really popular internet recipe that you're like, this can't be as good as there's everyone no says way. it is, let us know because we'll try it for you. Yes. <laughs> we will do that for you. Mm-hmm. We'll take the take one for the team. Yeah. Take the hit. <laughs> Mythbusters. Take the hit. <laughs> okay, let's just bow to the taco. Bow to the taco. Was that chef's table? Who was that? Mm, it was Samin. Samin, yeah. I was like, it's a Netflix show for sure. Uh -huh. 